Hey everybody, I um, I'm sitting here on the back porch and I just got back from Ulta. I had to go drive all the way over to Murfreesboro for Ulta and also I had to drive over for Marshalls. Well, what I went for was Jeff um, wanted a haircut. He gets a hair, his haircut over there and actually Eli and Samuel all got a haircut too and Jordan came too. We all just made a day of it and went and looked around in the stores. Turns out I like to shop a little bit more than everybody else does, but I'm gonna just show you what I got. And so I went to Ulta first, so I'll start there. I didn't get that much. I had some points I could use. Um, let's see. It's, um, I wanted to get the new NARS. I think it's a more radiant foundation. I don't know. I'm, I've got the NARS on today, the other one, the one that's more matte, and it's 16 hour. I'll write down what it was. I got it for the wedding for Samuel and Jordan's wedding when I was out in Utah and I had brought the wrong foundation. I feel like my, my little thing won't, maybe if I lean back, I don't know, but my little tripod thing is not quite tall enough. So I'm having to like, sit down. I could get something to put it on but it's kind of windy too, so it might blow over. But anyway, that doesn't matter. What I ended up getting was this Laura Mercier Translucent Pure Setting Spray 16 Hour. I thought that might be, since I love, you know, they make such a great translucent powder, which I, I, wear, I wear, I I use it really under my eyes and set my concealer and stuff. And so I usually just spray with water just the Evian water just to get rid of any rid of any powder residue. But I thought I'd get this give this a, give this a chance. I'm sorry, gosh. Talk much. Okay, let me just read you a little bit of the claims on the back. It's 87% say it feels weightless, gentle, and comfortable on skin. 84% say it reduces the appearance of shine throughout the day. I don't mind a little shine. So I, don't, I may not like it, but I like it so far. I tried it in the store when it was there at the tester. Say this might, okay, 84% say this micro fine mist does not feel tight or sticky on skin. And I will like that. I hate when they do feel like that. And then I got, let's see, what else did I get? I got two more things. One of these things is probably going to gross you out. Um, I got this because I saw somebody talking about it on YouTube. The NYX Lipton Snatch, it's a, the brow tint pen. And so, um, pen, pen. I just had a conversation with Samuel about this. He says that some, somebody gave him a hard time one time because he said pen, he said pen instead of pen, like a P-E-N. He didn't pronounce his eh or something. So now it's kind of a joke. And so now I get mixed up on it every time I say it. Um, so I got that in ash brown. We'll try that. And then I just got a, an e.l.f. Uh, lip lacquer in fantasy. It's really pretty. I'm really into the, like, the, the kind of the lighter, light peachy colored kind of foil that reflects light that makes your lips look a little bit bigger. And it's just, it's really a really pretty soft peachy color, but not really hardly any color at all. But it does give off a little bit of that reflect which is pretty, but then you'll see, that's not what I have on now. I have one on one now that has more re reflex, whatever you call it, more shine back foil look to it. Okay, here's the one that's kind of gross, but I had to get it and I had to try it. And I tried it in the car and I am sold on it already for lips, for dry lips. It's timeless and it's the Ferment Snail Lip Treatment Stick. And you know, you hear all about, I've, first time I ever heard about the 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 ferment the not fermented but the snail whatever they call it in the it cosmetics cc cream it's supposed to be really good for you and this has spf 13 in it anyway i slick this stuff on my lips in the car it's just clear i'll just show you the bottle or the the tube it's um it's just clear and i i swear it made my lips look better than they maybe ever looked it's just that and it somehow, it plumped out my lips to where I didn't have those kind of old, dry, little deflated balloon lips. And so then when you put this on, and then you put one of those foil things on over it, your lips are looking pretty good. If I do say so myself. 
to me, they look good anyway. Okay, and I, when I'm back on, I'm back on my keto. I, I, I don't have the discipline to do the, the calorie counting, the 1,200 calories a day or however much calories a day put me in a deficit to lose weight. I just, it made me think about food too much. When I'm tracking the food and having to put it in the, my fitness pal and stuff, I see that that's a good thing in that you need to kind of know how many calories you're kind of getting in because you can go overboard without even knowing it. But as I was doing it day after day, and I don't know. Oh, no, I was afraid of that. Um, there we go. So, anyway, I was, um, it got me a little bit more, a little bit too focused on that. And then that, I guess that kind of stressed me out and made me eat more. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm, right now I have the right mindset to, to just eat low carb, not true keto, because I will, I eat vegetables. I eat the non-starchy vegetables anyway. So I've been eating more salads and trying to have more lean meat and just keeping my carbs way low. And I've been also incorporating some intermittent fasting. So I'll, I'll have one or two meals a day and then I will not snack in between. And I mean, it, I, I can't really see it on the scale hardly much at all. But I do feel like I'm fitting into my, my clothes a little bit better. So that was a big long story to tell you I bought this thing right here. And I don't really believe a lot in the keto snacks and treats because I think you can really go a lot overboard with that. But I got this, sometimes you just gotta have a little bit of a sweet thing. So I got this Lakanto monk fruit sweet and chocolate truffles salted caramel flavored. It's one net carb for three. I ate one of them in the car on the way home, and it was good, but one satisfied me, so I didn't even need the three. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also got some of the skinny syrups, and this is zero calories of everything, and it's vanilla caramel cream. I'll put it in something. I might put it in my hot chocolate. I don't drink coffee, but I do drink like a drink called post -Om, and so I'll probably put it in that, and that can be a nice sweet treat when I'm craving sweets because that's the trick of it is you have to find a way to mimic your cravings you have to find a way to recreate it in a low carb fashion okay i saw this at marshall's it's just a little concealer brush and sponge duo so i thought that really the brush thought i thought looked like a good size for doing tapping on concealer or blending it in um Let's see, I got some skin care, Alginist Advanced Anti-Aging Repairing Oil. Don't know anything about it, but it's supposed to hydrate. And I need all the hydration I can get. So, it's an oil. Formulated with microalgae oil. So, there's another gross thing for you. Snails and algae. Here's one. This is another good one that won't be gross. So that one was an oil, and this one is a water sleeping mask by Laneige, or Laneige, I never know how to say that. They're the ones that have, I have the, also the blue lip sleeping mask of this stuff, and I love it. I hate the pink one. I bought the pink one years ago, and I'm like, I don't understand why people love this. So this is supposed to be very hydrating. And so since it was blue, I thought, oh, well, maybe it's like the good blue lip one that I like. So I got that too. I don't know, are y'all wanting prices too? Let's see. Oh, this one, yeah, so this one was not cheap. It was 20 bucks, but you know, it was probably 50 or so at Elta or Sephora or wherever they sell it. Let's see, the timeless thing, how much? I don't know, it doesn't have the price tag on it. I, I think it was actually $11. I remember that one. And this one, the the oil was $16.99. Um, I got another nail envy for soft and thin nails. It's good stuff. Most times I'll come out here in the morning. This is my spot when I get up in the morning, I get my, my <laughs> 
This is so unhealthy. I get my Diet Mountain Dew, but I also get two waters, two bottles of water, and I sit out here and I drink, and I wake up slowly, and sometimes I'll paint nail, nail strengthener on my nails if I feel like it. So, I got that. Um, I don't even remember what all I got. Oh, I got this um, Well People. It's a Biotint Multi Action Face Moisturizer SPF 30. So, it's just a tinted sunscreen moisturizer. But I liked that it also had the word moisturizer in there, too. So, I like to build in like lots of layers of moisture. I don't know what the what they mean by the bio tint. It was a light medium, and I could see that it was that color, so I figured that would probably work. So there's that. Oh, and it's had an allure sticker on it. So usually they're pretty spot on. They usually identify good products, and it was only five ninety nine. So I thought that would be good to have. Okay, have y'all tried this? MAC Magic Extension 5mm Fiber Mascara. I thought that the before and after looked pretty impressive. I don't, I don't think I've ever liked an extension mascara, but I, I just thought I'd try it. We'll see. 90% said lashes achieved over the top exaggerated volume, and I love volume. 94% said lashes look longer, fuller, and lifted. Five millimeter fibers equals surreal volume plus length. And this was $12.99. Oh, I think Jeff's on the porch up front. Oh, I threw this in. I didn't get this at Marshall's or Ulta. I got it at Walmart the other day. And I really love these little wet and wild mega slicks. I'm, I think Lisa talked about them the other day. And that is just a gorgeous nude lip. If I didn't have the foil on, I would put something like that on. And this one is called Love Language. There's a Love Language and there's a Cherish. I think Cherish is the one that um, Lisa liked. But it was a lot more... Oh, yeah, I think it was this one. And it was, like, really bright. And then, so they've got this one, the love language, and then they have this one, which is, I don't know what, because now it's too tiny to read. I wish they'd put the names of them on the sides. And this one's a beautiful kind of a foil as well, but it's not as foily as the one I'm about to show you. So I've got, you can see I'm on a kick of foil lipstick, lip glosses, except this one is not, this one's just a cream. It's not reflective at all, but it is a beautiful, just a nice, beautiful um, nude lip color. Um, but what, um, oh shoot, I left the other one. So I got two of the Anastasia, just lip glosses. I've had their, their liquid lip before that's like really long lasting, but this is just a lip gloss. And that's what I have on right now. I have on, this one is Venus and it's more of a light pink, but the one I have on now is Sunscape, which was more of a, a light peachy pink. And, but I left, I've already stuck them in my makeup area, so sorry. And then I got this, um, this pretty OPI nail lacquer for $4.99, and it was in the color Chiffon of You, like Chiffon, and it's a, and it's like a foil. I don't know what's gotten into me. But I got seashell on my toes the other day when I went to get a pedi. A pedicure and I thought it's really like this color only the one that they used is more translucent and so I'm thinking maybe I could just paint in about a week or so when they start looking a little tired or something I'm gonna put some of this on there and see if I think that'll be really pretty and then I saw this and it's just a one shadow and it's Bobby Brown in the in the color toast 14 and I just thought it was my kind of my perfect transition color. And so I got it. Even though it is $9.99 for one shadow. That's kind of expensive. But it's a real pretty kind of peachy tan. And I actually came home. 
I'm that way. I've always been that way. As soon as I get home, I want to try everything. And so I'll just put it on over whatever I've got on. So I've already put it right here, and I actually put it a little bit under here, too. And you can see, I think that that setting spray has made me a lot more glowy other than, rather than ex absorbing the oil. I think I'm a lot more glowy right now because I've put that, that setting spray on. It's also at the end of the day, and it's been crazy hot today. I don't, this porch is pretty cool because it's not as hot as it, boy, when we were walking around in Murfreesboro, it was like 108 degrees when we would get back in the car. Crazy, crazy hot. So I'm sure that's also why my face is a little shiny. So anyway, that's it. I don't want to waste your time too long. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great summer. I hope you're staying cool. Don't get too hot. Um, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.